Good morning, folks. It's Friday morning, and this morning we're going to read the last chapter from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. So let's read that together. Now concerning how and when all this will happen, dear brothers and sisters, we don't really need to write to you. For you know quite well that the day of the Lord's return will come unexpectedly, like a thief in the night. When people are saying everything is peaceful and secure, then disaster will fall on them suddenly as a pregnant woman's labour pains begin, and there will be no escape. But you aren't in the dark about these things, dear brothers and sisters, and you won't be surprised when the day of the Lord comes like a thief. For you are all children of the light and of the day. We don't belong to the darkness and night. So be in your guard, not asleep like others. Stay alert and be clear-headed. Night is a time when people sleep and drinkers get drunk. But let us who live in the light be clear-headed, protected by the armour of faith and love, and wearing as our helmet the confidence of our salvation. For God chose to save us through our Lord Jesus Christ, not to pour out his anger on us. Christ died for us that, whether we are dead or alive whenever he returns, we can live with him forever. So encourage each other and build each other up just as you are already doing. Dear brothers and sisters, honour those who are leaders in the Lord's work. They work hard among you and give you spiritual guidance. Show them great respect and wholehearted love because of their work. And live peacefully with each other. Brothers and sisters, we urge you to warn uh, those who are lazy. Encourage those who are timid. Take tender, tender care of those who are weak. Be patient with everyone. See that no one pays back evil for evil, but always try to do good to each other and to all people. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Do not stifle the Holy Spirit. Do not scoff at prophecies, but test everything that is said. Hold on to what is good. Stay away from every kind of evil. Now may the God of peace make you holy in every way and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless until the Lord Jesus Christ comes again. God will make this happen when he calls you for he who calls you is faithful. Dear brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all the brothers and sisters with a sacred kiss. I command you in the name of our Lord to read this letter to all the brothers and sisters. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. That's the end of First Thessalonians. Um, again, a final chapter packed full of stuff. Um, the very start, obviously, it links in with the end of what we read as chapter 4, talking about heaven uh, and talking about uh, us not knowing when Christ will return, um, but that we are ready for his return. Whenever we have accepted Christ, then we live in the light. Uh, and we are prepared for that. But it's lovely just as you read on down, um, reading about what Christ does for us. You know, if you are unsteady, if you are sort of kind of shaky, Paul talks about putting on the helmet of confidence of our salvation. I mean, all of us who call ourselves Christians, all of us who have that personal faith, we do have wobbles. We do have times whenever we doubt, but Paul reminds us that we can be confident and to put on our helmet of salvation with confidence. He reminds us that our God's anger will not be poured out on us because of Christ. But then if you want to be practical, look at verses, look at verse 14. I urge you to warn those who are lazy, to encourage those who are timid, take tender, tender care of those who are weak. Be patient with everyone. It's about walking with one another through this life. It's about helping one another and encouraging one another. Um, there's enough criticism out there in the world already. There's enough people who will try to put you down, who will try to belittle you um, and will make life difficult. So part of our role as followers of Christ is to help each other and to encourage one another. It's easy to criticise, isn't it? It's easy to point a finger. It's easy to have a wee chat. 
But before we do things like that, stop and think. Think instead, instead of criticising or putting that person down for what they've done, or instead of picking fault, is there some way I can help? Is there some way I can encourage? Maybe something as simple as don't say anything and stop and say, Lord, help them. And just a, a quick prayer for them. Maybe it's something more practical, something that you can come alongside somebody with and help them. But the whole point of that is that we walk with one another. That life is hard enough at the best of times. So let's help one another. So today, as you head off into this day, yeah, it's grey and dismal outside. And the raindrops are hitting the window. But it's a great day because it's a day that God has given to us. A day when we, whenever we can celebrate and give thanks for all that he has done. A day that whenever we can help one another. So let's ask God to show us those opportunities and to give us the confidence to grab those opportunities with both hands and to take them. Let's pray together. Father, thank you again for another day, a wonderful day because you have given it to us. Lord, help us as we seek to walk with one another and please bring our way those times today whenever we can help one another Encourage one another, walk with one another, maybe through a difficult situation. And Lord, just give us wisdom as to what to say and what not to say. As to how to help in some way. And just help us to look out for one another. Father, we thank you now and always. In Christ's name. Amen. Thanks folks for joining in this morning. Or thanks for watching this later on if you're doing that. Um, trust that you have a, a peaceful weekend. Uh, and that and everything that it is a blessed weekend by God. Um, remember, I'm not doing this tomorrow morning. And then Sunday morning at 11 o'clock, we are back online again for our Sunday morning service. So please feel free to join in with us. If you're, if you're not watching a service elsewhere or are helping out in the self, service elsewhere, please feel free to, to watch along or even watch it later on in the day, um, whatever suits you. But uh, take care and God bless. Bye.